Welcome back to the second channel guys. Today we're going to be comparing a 25 ACP, which is pretty much a dead caliber, versus 22 long rifle, okay? As you know, this is a 22 long rifle. These are commonly used for rabbits and uh, squirrels and just target shooting, stuff like that. As you can see right here, we have a 25 ACP. 25 ACP is pretty much the smallest center fire bullet ever. Not only smallest in diameter, the energy a 25 ACP puts out is very small compared to something big like a nine millimeter, which is carried all the time. But I had this pistol, okay? I bought it a little while ago, basically just because it looks cool. But then I pulled it out again, I started looking at it. That thing is small. That fits in your pocket and you won't even know it's there. What if you're doing something and maybe you don't want to carry an actual compact pistol, okay? Maybe you could carry a 25. And I know a lot of people who do carry 25s. Really? Yeah, I don't know why, but we're going to test it out today. What got my gears grinding is whenever I actually seen how big a 25 ACP bullet is. Look at that. Overall length, it's shorter than a 22. This one over here is the 25, this one's the 22. This one is probably a little bit heavier bullet, and it is a little bit bigger diameter for the casing, which should hold more powder. But at the end of the day, how much more are you getting out of a 25 ACP that you can't get out of a 22? And that's what we're going to be testing today. We got ballistics gel, we're going to be testing the damage. We got a target set right there, we're going to be testing the accuracy. Even though, you know, it doesn't really matter. And then we have two almost identical subjects to compare them with. Check it out. We're shooting that little PPK looking 25 ACP. And then we got this one. Pretty much a clone of it. As close as we can get. Walther in 22 long rifle. Now straight up, the size difference, the 25 is actually smaller than the 22. I don't think that's a thing with all the guns. I think they just made this one the same size as an actual one. Just because. This one does fit in my hand a lot better. This one is a whole lot shorter. I do got to say this though. Yeah. I don't want to burst your bubble, but before you even shoot my prediction, you ain't going to hit nerdy thing with those. Either one of them? No, probably not. I mean, it's a good possibility. As for this one, I can kind of throw it in my pocket, but at the end of the day, you can get a lot smaller 22s than this. Oh, yeah. And I just want to see. Bullet versus bullet. Why? Is there a reason you should actually go for a 25? Because they're way harder to find ammo for. First thing we're going to do, recoil. We'll load two bullets in each mag and just see how they recoil. Not that recoil should matter, but maybe it does. I don't know. I'm just going to shoot into the big mountain over there. So just watch my hand and see how much it kicks. And reliability. That's a big one. Ready? It didn't really kick at all. Okay, now for the 25, we'll see how this one does. I do gotta say it's kind of loud though. It is kind of loud. Let's see how this 25 ACP does. This one is probably one of the smallest pistols I've ever seen, but part of it, I guess. Okay, it cycled them both. As for recoil and sound, I feel like this one does give you a little more pop, but with Ear Pro, couldn't really tell the difference. I couldn't. And also with recoil, I really couldn't tell a difference. Maybe it popped a little bit more, but you're talking about two things pretty much not making a sound at all. We're going to load five in each, walk up to about 10 feet, and see what kind of groupings these two can put out. Because neither one of these is going to be very good past anything. These are something you want to just want to get up close and personal. Yeah, just that's like from to. me to you. If something gets frisky, at least I'll have something. You ain't fighting a war with a 25 ACP snub nut. And how many do they hold? That's a good question. The 22, I think, holds 10. 25, not really sure. Let's see, I think I got five loaded there. I'll load eight in each, and then use the last three to burst onto a steel target. All right, here we go. Cocked and locked and loaded, baby. We're going to stand right here on this rock, and I'm going to shoot right there and see just how accurate or good of a group I can get. I'm going to try my bit. All right, now on to the steel. You was hitting the steel. That's true. That may be a little thing for accuracy. I'm not sure. But if I can controllably shoot this and not hit anything with that, that goes to show something. I'm going to go ahead and load eight into this one, if it'll even hold eight. I don't know if it will. I'm not really sure. I've not shot this one before today. One, two, three. I'm noticing on the fourth one, it's starting to get a little harder to load. I do got to say this, too. Yeah. If you can't hit the target, it don't really matter anyways. This one holds seven. I'm going to go ahead and put one in the chamber. And then go ahead and load that last one. All right. See what it can do, okay? We're going to step up to the rock once again. And I'll put five right there on it. It's a lot harder to hold, but that's just mainly the frame of the pistol. And that last one jammed. We'll give it a chance. And I hit this last steel target. Yeah, I hit it, but it didn't sound like it did much. 
It sounds like when we throw rocks, it hits harder than that. Let's look at the accuracy test. Both of them has a really crude sights and a really small sight radius. I felt confident. Honestly, looking at my target, we're going one, two, three, four, and then I think five, because that one is bigger. Yeah, that's As for two. this one, we're going one, two, three, four, five. So honestly, the groups are pretty much exactly the same. Not terrible. No, they're not. I can't do that good with a nine millimeter from that distance, just saying. Now on to the thing that actually matters. What kind of energy damage difference, okay? Because look, BB guns are great, but if you used one for self-defense, ain't really going to defend you too good. Does a 25 or a 22 have what it takes to actually stop somebody? I do know for a fact that both those can kill somebody, but are they effective at stopping somebody? In a timely manner, okay? If you shoot them and they die four days later, you want to be able to put a shot at two in him and him stop right there. Big thing, clear ballistics because uh, they give this to us. You want ballistics gel, buy it from them. One thing I'm going to say is that we are going to have to scoot pretty much point blank right range to ensure that this goes in the block yeah but the thing about that is honestly point blank range is your average self-defense range at oh, least yeah. for those all right i'm gonna load up the mags in each i'm gonna do a little self-defense situation i'll tell you the scenario in a brick 25 acp has five bullets left that's another thing you gotta think about kind of hard to find ammo and it's a lot more expensive to practice with but you can get some defense ammo for it doesn't exactly mean this should be your option your first choice but that's what we're going to try so far if it's just me the 22 does feel better but at the same time the 22 is a bigger frame pistol i'm shooting the 22 better but the 22 is a larger frame pistol than that you can get a 22 in a very small frame you can get them in a pistol that big literally go on a belt buckle but here today we're going to be looking and finding out which one's going to do better against your target and these are both solid tipped round nuts. now before we go up there and shoot into the gel if you want to buy any merch like this long sleeve shirt right here go to kennelgrave.com shop or first link in the description and buy some merch to support the channel all right james bond himself carried this gun all right self-defense situation you ready let's see it That's the thing, guys. If you can pump somebody 10 rounds accurately, like I did that, with a 22, you you're still doing something. But with a 9mm, you may be able to do one shot what this one might be able to do in 10. But once again, we've not looked at the jail to see that for sure. Now for the big 25. I've only got two cartridges left for this, so I'm going to have to do one, one in the guts, one on the steel. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. You got him. That sounded like I threw a rock at it. All right, that's all we got. Let's actually check it out and see what we've done. Ooh, okay. We actually have pretty good results right here. Really? No. As for penetration, I don't know how great y'all can see this since we're going to keep the plastic on it. 22 LR went this far. Okay. 25 ACP went this far. So like an inch? Yeah, and the 25 ACP has 0 .03 of an inch larger diameter and here's the 22 right there it just uh oh yeah you can see them actually pretty good right there yeah that's what the 22 did obviously you can get better expanding bullets out of each of these but that's just a rough estimate of what it can do it would stop somebody i feel like if you pumped them full of 10 of each i think if you pumped them full it would is one soup bean sized piece of lead going to hit you and you stop depends how rational they are i mean if it goes through your lung i don't think you're going to feel it for a while you got two lungs you don't even need one of them to keep you alive for a little while especially if it's just a pinhole even if you hit the heart they can still go for a little bit they're going to be losing blood and blood pressure but it's not like you exploded their heart they're still gonna be able i don't know y'all saw what that did here's what a nine millimeter does you be the judge i think uh i'm gonna stick something a little bit bigger than the 25 acp i would agree with that but at least we figured out that a 25 acp is indeed stronger than a 22 that's all we got comment below if you guys have any experiences with 25 acps or self-defense with a 25 or 22 bye